The vanilla city skylines maps are great, but after a while, you really just start to want something completely out there or something that feels more realistic. The Steam Workshop has thousands of maps available for your game, so today I'll show you how to easily add them so you can start playing custom maps. You can use the Workshop directly from the Steam Launcher, but I've always found it hard to keep track of multiple windows at the same time, so I recommend using a dedicated browser to search for maps. You can find a direct link to the City Skylines Workshop below so you can easily Easily search for maps. This is a direct link to the Steam Workshop for City Skylines, and once you're there, you can navigate over to the sidebar to browse by tags and select map. From here, we can start to search for a specific map. So we can sort by popular, most recent, last updated, and most subscribed, and we can choose what time period we want to search for. Usually what I do to find the best results is sort by most popular over the last six months. This tends to give me the best variety of quality maps. I've been wanting to try this Palm Beach map, so I'll leave a link to it down in the description below if you also want to try it. Quick note before you add it to your game though, some maps do require certain DLC, mods, or assets sets to work properly. You'll usually see them listed in required items over on the side, or you can find them in the description down below. Before you subscribe, you will need to sign into your Steam profile, and you can do that by clicking the login button in the top right corner of the page. And once you've logged in, go ahead and open the required items if there are any, and subscribe to those first. You'll know it's complete when it says this item has been added to your subscriptions. Then from this point, we can go back, refresh this page, and as you can see now we have subscribed to the required items. From here we can hit subscribe and now it's time to open City Skylines. Once the launcher opens though, we don't want to hit resume. Obviously we're starting a new world, but first we have to enable the mod. So hit play, not resume. When Cities opens, come over to the content manager and make sure maps is selected under categories. What we need to do here is ensure that our new custom map is enabled. You'll know it's enabled when the box here is blue, not gray. If your map required any additional mods or assets or themes, you will also need to make sure those are enabled as well. Now we can start a new city by hitting new game and searching for the custom map that we want to use. Custom maps will be placed at the very bottom of the list. If your map required a custom map theme, you can select that down here. We'll just need to make sure that's selected and let's go ahead and start our city. And after that, you're good to go. You can start playing around with the map, test it out, and build out your city. But before you do that, be sure to check out this video in the top right of the screen on how to add mods to City Skylines to enhance your game. And be sure to join us on Discord for more City Skylines talk and help at thesimulation.com slash Discord.